Okay, this video is going to show you how to set up a landing page capture form. Um, it's actually going to go through the entire tool because in order to do the landing page you also need to create a form and then you need to create an email because we want to send an email every time someone fills out the form and then you need to tag contacts etc etc. Okay, so uh, I've logged into the dashboard and normally I would just go ahead and create the landing page but like I said you need to have a form so it's better to create the form first but then the form needs an email so then I'm going to go into channels and create an email as my very first item so I'll just click on new now this email is something that okay it's got a new template email it's not a segment email um, it's basically something I'm going to send myself, so I don't really care how it looks. So I'm just going to use this blank template here. That's going to look like that. I've selected it, and then I give it a subject and a name. So let's say we're going to um, intake all new students. So let's call it prospective students. And this internal name is basically what they call a slug. It's the same title with dashes, no spaces, lowercase. Um, you can put something like that. And that's pretty much it. You can ex ignore everything else for now. Um, I'm going to go to build. Okay, after that, you go to builder. This is how you actually create the email. So here's the text that it starts out with, and you can easily just drag and drop. Oops, you can click on these things to add things to slots. You can, um, there's images, whatnot. And if you want to edit the contents, you scroll down to the right, and it has the contents here that you would edit. So I'm going to change this to. And then I'll replace this with um, the email of the person that's going to be contacting us. Now, uh, there are some variables you can use in the forms. And the way you put in a variable is you put a curly bracket and you start typing and it'll show you what you need to put in. So for email, I've got contact field equals email. That's what I'm going to put there. And now when someone fills out that contact form, their email will be put here and then I'll be sent an email with their email. You can also, if you want, include their name. So let's put first name like that. So first name and then email. Okay, so I'm going to close this. Apply. It's pretty bare bones. Uh, okay, I'm going to save and close. So that's a bare bones email, but that's all we need for this. Okay, so next, now that we have an email, we will create a form. So we'll go to landing page and go to form. Alright, so new form and this is going to be a standalone form. So again, let's give this a name, prospective student form. After they submit the form, um, there's different things that you can do. And we can go to a redirect page, we can display a message. So for this, I'm just going to display a message, just to be simple. And the message I'm going to put in here is, thank you, we will be in contact. But ideally, we would send them to a redirect page and go to a WordPress page and in there we have like some fancy graphics like you know thank you we'll be in touch and click here to go back to main menu you know stuff like that again we don't really need to fill out any of these things um, I'm gonna apply this just to save it but actually the important part is here fields and this is what's gonna be in the form so right now I have this shows you a preview down here this I have a submit button I'm gonna add uh, email and you have to add a label so we'll call it email in a placeholder, so Joe at example.com. And then I'm going to attach that field to this contact email, which is pretty self explanatory. Um, and then validation, I'm going to require this. So I want the email for sure. And I'll add. Okay, so now here's my form I've got an email and a submit button. Let's add uh, the name. So let's go to, we have to add a text box and call this first name uh, input placeholder we'll call it uh, Joe contact field now we need to attach this and because it's just a text box and so we tell it this is actually going to be the first name and for validation I'm going to just say no because some people for whatever reason maybe don't want to add their name so we'll add that, and now the form looks like this. It says email, first name, submit. Now I actually want first name in front, so I'm going to grab this by clicking on it, holding, and dragging it up. 
and now we've got first name, email, submit. Okay, so I'm going to save and close this form. Oh, actually, sorry, I forgot one thing. So let's go back and edit the form again. Okay, this form actually has the right fields, but the next thing I want to do is actually do a couple actions. Like once they submit this form, I need to send that email. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to send email to user. That's me. So let's call this a send email about prospective student. I don't know why that's not working. Okay, I don't need a description. Email to send. Now I've already created the email, which is why we did that first. I click on that. And it says send email to user, and there's two options. I'm going to click it to myself. You can preview, you can edit, you can do all those things. I'm going to add that. Okay, so that's the first action. Now I want to do another action. I want to add a tag. You don't have to do this, but I like to add tags. So let's call this uh, prospect. Add new student prospective. Here we go. Add. There. So the tag I'm going to add is prospective student, which I've already created. But if you just type in here and hit return, it'll create a new tag for you. So I'm going to add prospective student tag and add that. And then the next thing I want to do is actually add the email to a segment, which is a group of my contacts. So I'm going to create a group. So modify segments, and let's call this add prospective students. OK, so there. And then I don't have a segment here. So I actually need to create it. So I'm going to um, add this for now and go to segments create a segment. Let's call this prospective students. Oops. And then the alias is same thing as before. We need to put a lowercase name with no spaces, just uh, with dashes. And that's our segment. So we save and close. Let's go back to our form. Click on the form. Edit. And then on actions, I'm going to, oops, fields, actions. Uh oh, what happened to all my actions? They're gone. Okay, I guess I didn't save those. All right, so let's do it over again. So modify tags. Add that. I'm going to modify the segment. I'm going to add there and then I have my segment now shows up so I've added that and then the final thing is I want to email email myself so I'm going to send email to user it's good to put descriptive names for these so that you know what's going on when you check it later there's my email and then I'm going to send it to myself I'm going to add that okay so I have these three I'm going to apply let's save this check so yes it did save those okay my fields great okay so that's uh, my form you can preview the form if you click on preview and you see it has first name emails required and submit button okay all right now that I've created my form I go to landing pages and so I'm going to create a new landing page and here you can choose from different uh, templates and I'm going to just choose this template let's call it uh, prospective okay and again give it and then I'm going to click on builder this is where you actually build the landing page and here you can do things like add different slots. You can um, change the images. So here I'm going to change the image to, let's see, our logo, for example. Let's see, just put the logo in there. You can change the text if you go to the right. Let's put, we really, really want you. Like, really, really, please give us a chance. OK, so that's the f um, what it says. I don't need this part, so I'm going to delete it. Oops. I don't want this. And I don't need this button actually because I'm going to put a form in there. 
Okay, so now what I need to do is let me clear out all these things. I need to add a text slot. So I grab that and drag it there. And then click here to edit the text. Now to add the form, what we need to do is edit the text. Um, there we go. And you have to put, again, one of those curly brackets, form equals, and then the ID number. And I think the ID number is three. So I'm going to put that there. Close builder. Save and close. Let's check our form. Oh, we're number four. OK, so let's go back to landing page. Go back to builder. Click here. Let's change this to number four. Apply. You don't really need to do that. You can just close it, but I just want to be safe. OK, so I'm going to close the builder now. Save and close. OK, so my landing page is done. So now if I check it, if I go to the preview, I see my logo, my text, and here's my form. And I can actually test it. So I'm going to test it by using the actual URL. And then put my name. Let's put uh, Tom at example.com. I'm going to submit. There's my uh, thank you message. I go here to contacts. I see my contact was created. I see my tag was added. Then if I go to segments, I click here. I see that that contact was added to the segment. So that's all great. And then if I check my email, let's see here. Where's my email? Um, I will see that I've been notified and I got the email that I sent myself and it shows the first name and the email. So that's fantastic.